Okay, welcome to another SP4 hack, and today is a really good one. Something that is probably overlooked in your golf game, and uh, something that you probably have not done in a while that could save you a couple of bucks. Grips. You might think it's just another small part of your game, doesn't have any influence on your ball strike or anything that you do, but in, in actual fact, it has a big, big part to play in how well you strike the ball. Bad grips, old grips, slippery grips can cause a little bit of face angle issues on the way down, it can slip, and look, we know by golf it's small margins, a couple of degrees left or right in your face angle and you're just everywhere with it. Now, a lot of the times people replace their grips really quickly um, when they start to feel a little slipperiness and they think like the grip is worn, but I'm here to tell you 90% of the case, that's not it. So, a lot of the times when the grip is still in good form and it's just really slippery, it's probably just dirty. A lot of oil, a lot of things, a couple of hot dogs at the turn, a couple of beers, somebody with sunscreen touching your grips, all sinks into the rubber or depending on the material into the grip and uh, it stays there. So unless you wash it, over time there's a massive buildup of gunk uh, which can lead to a very slippery feel and almost feel like, you know, like it's not tacky. Now, depending on your preference, you might not like tacky grips. You know, we have some of those psychopaths that don't wear gloves when they, uh, when they hit golf balls, which you know, bless their hearts. But unless you see real wear patterns, unless you see real thumb marks and actually the material fading away, you know, go ahead and replace those. But you look at all your clubs though because you generally don't have to replace all of them. Uh, usually with us range rats, it's a driver 7 iron or like a 60 degree wedge. Just go ahead and, and, and replace it with the same grips you have and you'll be fine. Um, very seldom do I see all the clubs in the bag very worn out. But I'm here to show you a couple of tips that can really help you uh, kind of refresh your grips and get you, uh, get you back on the range hitting those uh, straight and long bombs. So let me preface this by saying something. When we were doing some research and going through this, we found some, some people saying that you can use bleach to clean your grips, um, get all the bacteria off. Please do not do this. If you wash it with bleach and there's any moisture buildup, in the grips, this is going to go back in your skin. It's going to go, obviously these things have hole, it holds a little bit of moisture. If you wash it with bleach and bleach stays and you come on with either wet hands or your, and your palms are sweaty, the bleach will actually go into your skin and that's just a horrible idea. You don't need to do anything fancy, you don't need any chemicals. A couple of small things, a couple of logical things will get your grips brand spanking you. So I got a couple of items here. Um, that you can pick up at a hardware store or you know any store or might even have in your golf bag. So first up, just a little brush. We all have a little club brush. Um, very fine sandpaper. I have uh, 120 grit here. You don't want it to be too fine, but you don't want it to be too coarse depending on your grip material. Um, and then just a towel or you could use just kind of like a toilet brush too. This will kind of do the job. So first things first. Number one thing, if you don't want to go into sandpaper, is literally to just clean them. So a little soap water, just going up and down. This releases all the dirty ass material that's built up over the years. Because look, anytime you put sunscreen on and you re-grip, if you, like I said, you have a hot dog at the turn, anything oily, maybe you just have super sweaty hands. Even your body oils, the natural oils that are coming out of your hand, will build up into these grips and it will cause shitty shots. Just a little bit of a slippery grip can have a major effect on your game. You thinking you have a bad swing, but meanwhile, it's just that nasty ass hot dog you had on the turn and you didn't wash your hands afterwards. So just go up and down. I do it with a nice core side um, to really get in there. I have very sweaty hands and I, I, I actually don't let people before I play touch my clubs just for that reason. So just wanna keep scrubbing up and down and you will probably see some of the dirt. You can almost see here, if you look really close, um, you could probably see some of the dirt, this being a little brown color. So these, this is one of the clubs that, that we have in our um, hitting bay here at the clubhouse. So just keep scrubbing, keep scrubbing, keep scrubbing. So immediately once you let this dry and you, um, using a short bar for tile, Check it out on the vault, little plug. Um, you will start to feel the tackiness come back. Now again, this is very dependent on, on how you like. You might like leather grips, you know, multi-compound, rubber. Uh, I like the multi-compound bit. I love the little bit of grippiness 
and coarseness in the top hand and then a little softer rubbery feel in the bottom hand. Uh, so that's what I've played most of my life, but you know, people like the National Tour Velvets or some people even like leather. Um, so you can already see, if you look close, the, the material of the towel is starting to stick and it already shows you how much more tacky this grip is just after one wash. Now you could, if you have the multi-compound grip, sometimes what I do is I even use a box cutter on the top hand. You can see this one's really dirty, right? You can almost see the darkness right there, and this will slip. Your, your left hand guaranteed, if you're swinging a club 90 miles per hour, and that impact, it will slip. Now, here's the difference what I was talking about. You can see there's a little bit of wear there. Now, this is still minor wear. It's not really something you have to be worried about, but eventually this grip will, because of the left hand thumb, will eventually need to be replaced. But you can use a box cutter um, or any sharp thing to kind of go over this. Don't do it during a round because that's obviously a penalty, but I just like to go up and down, and you can see, you can see this coming. Now, you don't want to overdo this because you could damage it, but again, you're, you're trying to extend the life of these grips from maybe a couple of a couple of months to you know a little bit over a year plus if you play a lot um if you're cheap like me you know and nobody wants to spend an extra 200 bucks to repair all their grips i like to extend them as much as i can so this is going to get that top level of dirt out now what i would have done probably is just wash it first just to get that top layer of oil out and then bring in the sandpaper and then wash it again. But for now's purposes, I mean, you can see how that tackiness comes back. Of course, it's rubbing off some of the compound at the top, but for the most part, this thing is gonna be tacky as you know what. So just putting my left hand on top of it again, you can see the difference in the marks there. Again, you are destroying, I want to note you, they are destroying the grip a bit, right? You can see that it's gone from a black to a little bit of white, but for me, I don't mind. I like the tackiness and I can live with that. Um, you know, if it saves me three, four, five extra months, you know, of playing. And I do the same on the, uh, on the soft rubber part too. It's just, then I go back just to get that top layer of shit off. And I'll continue to do this through all my clubs. And then just use your towel again to nicely clean them. And they will be, if you look closely, this is much better. This is obviously over the lifespan of a lot of people in and coming and touching your gloves. That's why I don't like people touching my gloves, Ugh, my, uh, my grips. Just for that fact, you don't know what's been on their hands. So hopefully this saves you, you know, a couple of months on your, uh, on your grips and saves you a couple of bucks and you get to go out and spend some time with your buddies. And uh, we look forward to uh, bringing you some more of these tips.